red notice. YouTube has a red logo. <gasps> I'm going to make a movie review for YouTube. And that review is going to be aimed at Red Notice. Look, look, there it is. Red Notice is a $200 million budgeted Netflix film. It is the highest budget film they've ever produced. In fact, originally, this was supposed to be a Universal Studios film, but Netflix acquired it, and it probably, it probably cost more than $200 million, in all honesty. Dwayne Johnson, Gal Gadot, Ryan Reynolds, they are the three stars in this film, and probably the reason, probably where the first hundred million went. A movie that costs this much, and has those three beautiful, sexy, charismatic Hollywood heavyweights, should have been a whole lot better than what came out of this film. It comes off as a catalog film. It's not entirely bad, okay? It's not without entertainment value. It's not entirely awful. In fact, no, it's not even bad. It's, to an extent, fun, enjoyable, escapism. But it comes off as a catalog film. It should be exceptional, but it feels like a catalog film. In fact, there was a movie that came out about 10, 15 years ago called Sahara. That's a real, a real margin I just gave. 10, 15 years, whatever. It's starred Matthew McConaughey and Steve Zahn. Hey, remember Steve Zahn? Oh, and also Penelope Cruz. That was a big budget adventure for its time, and it went nowhere. It was a flop. It was mediocre. Now, I will say Red Notice is better than that film, but not a whole lot. What I was disappointed with was a lot of action sequences really look phony. There's a lot of CGI where it didn't have to be. The CGI when it comes to certain vehicle movements, uh, weapons, even a, a goal. You could have gotten real goal, but whatever. The movie does not have a particularly great story. It is a treasure hunt movie. It's a heist movie. It's a break out of prison and running from the law film. That could, that, could, all of that should make for a great movie, but this movie is just, again, not, not great. The movie is heavily carried by its three main actors. Fingers, are they great? Well, let's, let's see. Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne is Dwayne. Dwayne is the man we love. We love to see him. But I will say, he could have used a little more charisma in this film. He's, he's fine, but he's not. I've seen him do better. Gal Gadot is the MVP. She is delightful in every scene that she's in. And she's the villain. But yet, I rooted for her. Now, Ryan Reynolds, listen, I like Ryan Reynolds, but there was a time when he was just, he was just too much. Blade Trinity, talk to talk, rise crack, rise crack, non-stop. I think he was channeling that character from Blade Trinity in this one, and it's excessive. It's like they gave him a 12 pack of Mountain Dew, he downed it in one morning, as well, as well as eating sugar, he just kept talking and spitting wisecracks throughout, and they did not stop him. And they didn't edit any of that out. Mm. The movie tries to be clever. It tries to be unique. It's none of that. It does look good in parts. Beautiful locations, exotic. It's got some good, uh, you know, backdrops and everything. It just, it comes off as being shallow. Almost try hard, to, to be honest. Again, it does have fun sense, or I should, I should say a fun tone. It's just not enough, especially for something that costs this much. I was looking forward to this film, and ultimately I was kind of let down. Also the title, Red Notice, Red Notice, of course, uh, and they describe it in the movie, it's basically 
reserved for the highest of priorities for Interpol to inter intercept. You have to be a major criminal for Interpol to intercept, to, to, uh, to apprehend. And it's not that these characters don't meet that criteria, it's just that that title would have better served for a sky thriller than this. Yeah, uh, it's, the, the, the best thing about this movie is the fact that it is on Netflix. Yes, it is currently in limited theaters, but you can see it now on Netflix. You don't have to pay anything extra, and that's a good thing. It's an okay movie just to, just to watch and have on as background noise, even though it seems like they really wanted you to make this a film a priority, but don't do it. I give it a 2.5 out of 5, and that is my quick little review, <laughs> quick, of um, Red Notice. However, I have been doing quick movie reviews on TikTok, so if you want to check that out, the link will be down below, as well as the fact that I do live stream on Twitch, it's what I do. You're welcome to join me and talking about this film and other films and other things that relate to entertainment on my Twitch stream. That link will be in the description as well. Take care, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this review. I know it's been a while since I've done anything for YouTube. So, yay. Stay positive. Do the right thing. And I will see you when I see ya. Alright?